Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of my Guilty Gear Strive character guides. I'm making these videos to help out newer players just getting into the Guilty Gear series, as well as those who might be interested in learning specific characters, but have no clue where to start. Today we cover Giovanna, a quick bruiser with tons of tools to apply plus frames and keep the opponent blocking. First, let's go over the format of this series. We will start with an overview where I will provide a brief explanation of what kind of character it is we are talking about, as well as said character's strengths and weaknesses. Next, we discuss their game plan, how to play, and how to beat. After that, we will go over each tool in the character's toolkit, quickly discussing each tool's specific implications in their kit. Afterwards, there will be a brief combo and setup section that should be a good starting point for anyone trying to learn the character. Finally, we'll recap on the most important points, go over some notable resources, and finally, notable people who play the character. By the way, I'm sure many of you are curious as to how I'm going to be handling DLC characters, since they could end up breaking the alphabetical order I'm going in. In order to be fair to the base roster, and also give people ample time to discover tech and develop a game plan with these characters, we will be covering DLC characters after we finish the 15 base characters. Also, I'm going to be talking rather quickly in this video to help condense it down to a digestible size, but if need be, don't feel bad about slowing this video down in order to fully ingest all the information. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Giovanna is an aggressive rushdown character who specializes in trapping her opponent in fundamentally strong looping pressure. Her normals are incredible, and combined with her insane dash speed, she can pop in for a quick pressure sequence in the blink of an eye. Giovanna's dash is the best mobility option in the game by far. It's incredibly fast, travels a long distance, and can be cancelled into from a few of her up-close buttons. In addition, it can be feinted by cancelling it into a backdash, allowing her to dance around in neutral, bait her opponent's attempt to stuff her approach, then shoot in like a rocket. Giovanna's buttons also benefit a lot from dash momentum, allowing her to fly forward while also having a hitbox out at the same time. Giovanna potentially has the strongest strike throw game in the entire cast thanks to her strong tick throw setups and great dash cancelable normals. Giovanna has strong counter hit options, making mashing against her dangerous. Giovanna has a unique possession mechanic where having meter gives her a damage and defense increase, meaning she can get more mileage out of meter than the rest of the cast. Giovanna is just fundamentally strong, and can play both offense and defense effectively. Giovanna has weak tools at a distance, and her approach tools, while strong, are very linear, leading to her having trouble approaching on a careful opponent. Giovanna's possession mechanic muddies up her resource management, making it difficult to know whether it'd be better to keep the attack and defense buff, or spend it on a one-time meter use. As Giovanna, you want to be able to close the distance frequently and apply pressure once you're in, but this can prove tough thanks to Giovanna's linear approach options. A surefire way to get in is get your opponent to make some sort of mistake in neutral, such as whiffing a normal or throwing a projectile too close to you. Bait your opponent into making mistakes by feinting your dash, then capitalize on Gio's strong dash momentum by dashing and pressing a button at the same time, allowing her to move into range for an attack and press set attack at the same time. Usually you will want to get in with a dashing 2s or far slash, but Trafau is decent at getting her in if the opponent is throwing a fireball, as it is projectile immune. Geo's air dash is also very fast, but she doesn't have the best air to ground buttons, meaning if you're not careful with an air approach you can get anti-eared very easily. If an opponent is focusing on slowing you down, make absolute sure you dash block as Giovanna. By pressing the dash macro, then immediately holding back, Giovanna will execute her full dash while also blocking at the same time. This is insanely powerful, gaining you distance while also keeping you essentially invulnerable to the opponent's zoning. Once you do make it in, you'll want to utilize a lot of delayed gatlings in order to frame trap the opponent, and scare them away from mashing. To end or reset a block string, you'll have three main options, those being Sepultra, Travau, and Sol Puente. Both Travau and Sol Puente are plus on block, but can be interrupted with a well-timed normal. Sepultra is minus on block, but will frame trap an opponent trying to interrupt Travau or Sol Puente. This lets Giovanna set up a rock, paper, scissors situation with every normal block, making the opponent guess between plus frames, frame traps, and if you're close enough to use dash capsule on normal, throw as well. Far Slash and 2S are especially useful for this RPS situation as they are multi-hit and can be cancelled into any of the specials previously mentioned to reset pressure, while also starting pressure on their own. While you're on defense, Sol Nascente is a very strong option due to its upper body interval, and high profile late into the active frames. Fish for counter hits and any option to take your turn back, then force the opponent into RPS situations once again. Giovanna has very strong loopable pressure, but pretty much everything she can do to reset her pressure can be reacted to in some way. Travau and Sol Puente both have long interruptible startups, making them easy to stuff if you see them coming. However, if you don't have a good button to stuff them, they can both be low-profiled, so figure out which option is best for your character. 
It's a bit harder to react to a throw, but if Giovanna stops a Gatling chain and dashes forward, she's likely going for a throw. And if she doesn't, a jump will stop her from hitting you since you will be able to block by the time she is in range. Her only real response here is air throw, and while that will work, she has to actively predict that you are going to jump and commit to the air throw, meaning if you get her thinking about it, she'll be forced to sacrifice the threat of the throw in order to cover the air. If she's dash canceling the throw from close slash or 5k, you can throw her pretty easily on reaction. Since Giovanna likes to delay her Gatling options in order to catch mashes and throw attacks, oftentimes you can catch her with a cheeky reversal in between her block strings, but she can just as easily catch you mashing out your reversal. So it's not a brain dead do it every time option, but a strong choice to be aware of for sure. When the two of you are in neutral, Geo poses a bigger threat than her stubby normals might suggest due to her fast and snappy movement options, but staying close inside her dash range and a little bit out of it are generally safe spots to be, since the dash, while quick, does have startup that can be caught before she's able to get out a dashing button. While keeping her out, you'll want to be wary of using any super committal zoning tools such as a fireball or big zoning normal since she can duck out of the way and punish very fast. Overall, you'll want to be careful throwing out moves with long recovery in neutral, try to stay away from the tip of her dash range, and be aware of her pressure reset options and respond accordingly. Giovanna has a unique mechanic where the more tension she has, the more possessed by her ghost dog Ray she becomes. The more possessed she is, the higher her damage and defense become. At half tension, she gets a 5% damage buff and a slight buff to her defense. At full tension, she gets a 10% damage buff and a large defense buff, putting her defense equal to Potemkin's. A standard 5P, 4 frame startup, putting it behind Soul and Chip's 3 frame normals is the fastest normal in the game. Although it may not look like it, Geo's 6P is one of the better ones in the game thanks to her already short stature making the upper body invuln that much more useful. A great 5k thanks to its 6 frame startup, generous hurtbox, and minus 2 frame advantage on block, making it especially strong for tick throws. One of the strongest close slashes in the game. 7 frame startup and plus 3 on block, meaning theoretically if your enemy has no meter and you're perfect with your micro steps, you can keep 6 frame characters blocking for as long as it takes for them to get meter to FD. It's also dash cancelable and jump cancelable, making it a go-to option for looping pressure. Another great button, has lots of active frames making it good at catching back dashes, and is easy to confirm off of. Be careful not to whiff it, as its long active frames means it's very susceptible to whiff punishes. A great button for Giovanna's pressure thanks to it being very easy to frame trap into by delaying your gatlings into it. On top of that, it has amazing reward for counter hit, meaning frame trapping into it is a very potent threat for Giovanna. A Rekka style command normal with two follow-ups that can be delayed into for as long as the move is in the air. Usually not used in neutral like many other Rekkas, but can be used situationally to pressure the opponent. Mostly strong in combos though. The first follow-up to 6H, useful in the same way that any Rekka follow-up would be, catching an opponent trying to punish the first hit of the Rekka. The third and final follow-up to 6H, same deal as 6HH. A pretty generic 5D, but thanks to Giovanna's high meter build and strong pressure, it has its use to cash out on some damage after building the opponent's risk gauge. Also strong for breaking the wall. A standard 2P used for mashing out of pressure. A standard 2K used for catching the opponent standing. Has great low profile and good recovery, making it a go-to option for ducking under high attacks. A great 2S thanks to the fact that it hits low twice, which will catch people off guard more often than you'd expect. It also lowers Giovanna's hurtbox a fair amount, but its long recovery makes it not as useful as 2K. Fairly whiff punishable, so be careful not to whiff it. A launcher that serves pretty much exclusively as a combo tool. A unique but great 2D due to the fact that its slow startup means it can't be comboed into on standard hit, but its incredibly long range combined with its disjointed hurtbox makes it an amazing tool for neutral and frame traps. A standard air jab for up close air interactions. A fast and strong JK with a good cross up hitbox. Probably the best jump into use since gatlinging it into JD leads to a triple overhead sequence, and cancelling it into Sol Puente makes for a cross up overhead. A good air to air button with good coverage of the space above Giovanna. A standard air to ground button with decent horizontal range. Hits twice, meaning it's very useful when combined with her fast 2k, where you can use it to either force the opponent to block up to 3 overheads and then land into a low, or just 1 or 2 into the low. Giovanna's throw is essential to her presser thanks to her strong frame trap and pressure reset options giving her many opportunities to dash in for the throw. Not to mention her dash is incredible as well. Useful in the same way that every other air throw is, to catch an opponent trying to escape your pressure by jumping. This special is fundamental to Geo's mix-up game, since her other specials allow her to keep herself plus on block, but as a guaranteed gap the enemy can mash out of, this special move should be used to counter hit opponents trying to mash out of her other two specials. At the end of a block string, you'll usually want to delay Sepultra slightly so that it hits the opponent's button as it starts up, but the exact time you want to delay is entirely up to what you think the opponent is going to do. If the opponent blocks this, Giovanna is minus, but a well-placed backdash can make the opponent whiff a move and allow Geo to start again. Just don't overcommit to the backdashes or you will get punished. Traval, sometimes called Spiral Arrow, is Giovanna's main pressure reset option. It sends her forward enough to catch back dashes and leaves her an advantage on block. It is vulnerable to low profile and 6p, so don't be too predictable with it. Mix this with Sepulcher to keep your opponent guessing. 
It's also worth noting that this goes through projectiles, but its long startup means that using it in neutral to do so usually isn't a great idea except for on big projectiles like Leo's Heavy Fireball. This move is essentially a stronger 6p, and should be used as one. It has great reward on counter hit, meaning that it is very useful as a counter poke, and overall is one of your best attacks for guaranteed counter hit scenarios. Exchangeable with Travao as a pressure reset, this also leaves Geo an advantage on block and is vulnerable to 6p and low profile as well. It's slightly faster but more telegraphed, so different opponents will fall for this or Travao depending on their reaction time. This move can also hit cross up, making it good as a tricky mix up option that leaves Geo an advantage even on block, and can also be used for a double or even triple overheads. If you hit the opponent with a cross-up button such as JK, then cancel into Sol Puente, it will combo giving you a knockdown, which is something not a lot of characters can get after a cross-up hit. A pretty standard reversal super, easily punished on block, so don't become too predictable with it. Does good damage, so cancelling into it during a combo can result in high burst damage potential, and it also carries the opponent pretty far towards the wall. This super is great for its burst movement. Essentially a dive kick on steroids, Tempest Dot is incredible for baiting and punishing anti-airs, and even if the opponent blocks it, this leaves Geo an advantage, meaning she gets pressure on block or hit. This also has swift recovery on whiff, so sometimes if the opponent backdashes it, they won't have time to recover and punish. Overall, this is a great super. Giovanna is a rushdown character with powerful tools to close the distance and lots of ways to keep her in once she makes it there. Utilize dash feints to bait the opponent into making a mistake, and dash blocking to approach on an opponent focused on hitting your dashes. Use Sol Nascente as a counter poke and use Giovanna's strong delayed gatling options from her slash and heavy slash buttons to pressure the opponent, then mix up or reset with Travao, Sol Puente, Throw, 5D, or even start the gatling chain over again. Frame trap with Sepultra, escape your opponent's attacks with a well-timed backdash, and pretty soon you'll stick to your opponents like glue, but melt their life bars into butter. <laughs> 